Hello, my friends. And first, I want to apologize for the lack of video yesterday, but the trip back from Vegas kind of really wiped me out. I also have to apologize if I'm just a little randomly because I am tired and I just finished my taxes, so I'm also a little irritated. Uh, we won't get into that, but for those who are wondering, taxation is theft. What we have here is the niche gamer responding to someone who uh, has a problem with how they're choosing to report. Niche gamer is, well, media. It is a part of Access media. It is a journalistic approach to telling people what they may or may not like. The original tweet this comes from, casual reminder, even if a game looks like this, if it's good, we're going to tell you. And we're also going to tell you about any woke stuff too. We're equal opportunity enthusiasts, gamers above all else. What this tells me isn't that they're taking sides or that they're trying to defend woke gaming or anything else like that, but that they're looking at games, playing games, and then coming back and saying, hey, we liked it, or no, we did not like it, and then giving an idea of whether there might be, quote, woke end quote, stuff involved in it so that people can make their own decisions. Now, I know a lot of people out there seem to think that they should be at that point, if it's woke or not, saying automatically that you should not buy the game. However, whether or not you should buy the game is in the end up to you. And if you are requiring somebody else to tell you your own opinion, then you have a problem. And the problem isn't them, the problem is you. You need to figure out how to make your own decisions without expecting other people to echo it back to you first. What we, do, what we need in terms of video game journalism isn't people telling us what we should and shouldn't buy, but telling us if they thought it was good or bad and if they plan to buy it or not and the various things that might make us decide to or not to buy it. I have that reversed. Normally you would say to buy it or not to buy it, but I've reversed it in my head. We won't go there today. It is woke and they choose if it is woke, if it is considered woke, if it has SBI influence, if it has another kind of think tank or consultancy firm attached to it. And for some reason, the journalist in question, in this case, Niche Gamers knows and doesn't include and doesn't uh, disclose that, that is a problem. What isn't a problem is playing it, telling you about it, and then saying, you know, we thought the game was OK. A little more making up your own mind and a little less Looking for other people to support your opinions would be a great thing in this world. Not just in gaming, but across the board. As you can see, their response to being, quote, called out, end quote. I need to find a way to do that with my tentacles at some point. If anybody has any ideas, I'll listen to them. Who are we to tell anyone what kind of video game they can or cannot make? It doesn't matter how we feel about Woke. Our responsibility is to inform our readers about what we find, not to gatekeep. Gatekeeping is for those is for those who create slash manage, not for those who report on it. In other words, gatekeeping is for us, the gamers. Gatekeeping is for the creators when they're making their game and deciding who is going to be involved in creating that game. Now, the thing people get confused about in regards to gatekeeping is thinking that by gatekeeping, you are going to keep any one person from ever doing this thing. No, that's not what gatekeeping does. What gatekeeping can do and should do is keep people out of the spaces around you in immediately. I can make sure that I never have to play with certain types of people. And I can make sure that certain types of people never have to play with me. But what I can't do is make sure that certain types of people never play the games I play. Because, well, especially since most of the games I play are single player games. There is absolutely nothing that is going to affect me if somebody else out there, whom I don't agree with, buys and plays Baldur Skate 3. Nothing I can do about that. And you know what? It doesn't change my enjoyment of the game at all because I don't have to play with them. And when I don't have to play with somebody, I don't have to give a shit about what they're doing. You run into more problems with other games, of course. But what we're lacking here is the individual responsibility quotient of the whole thing. It is your responsibility to make sure the people you surround yourself with are the people you want to be surrounded by. I don't know if any of that makes sense. Uh, again, I apologize for any weird rambling I have just done. I thank you all for being here. If you disagree, agree, want to yell at me, yell back, whatever, please like, follow, subscribe, turn on the notification. Taxation is theft, and I'll catch you later.